Okay, now we're going to convert uh, decimals or fractions to percents. So, first thing I want you to keep in mind that another way to write 1, and by the way, we can multiply anything we want by 1 without changing its value. It might change its looks. So, 1 equals 100%. Also, if 1 equals 100 percent, then uh, 1 also equals 1 over 100 percent. So, in other words, we can multiply anything we want by 1 and we'll not change its value, or we can multiply by 100 percent or 1 over 100 percent and still not change the value. We, we will change the looks, not the value. Now, with that said, let's move on. So, we've got 0 0.32, and we're going to multiply by 1 in the form of 100%. Uh, so, uh, When we do that, by the way, uh, let's uh, let's I'm going to do it down here. Let's rewrite this uh, uh, 32 as uh, 0 0.32 over 1, and now we have our 100 percent here. And keep in mind uh, that. One's understood, but I'm going to stick it there. And also, we can move this decimal over twice as long as we move this decimal over twice. So we'll move it over twice, move this one over twice, fill in with zeros. And now the hundreds divide out, and we're left with 32%. Bottom line is we move the decimal over twice to the right, and we can change it to a percent. So let's do the same thing with this guy. So we've got 0 0.001, and I'm going to stick that over 1, and I'm going to multiply by 1 in the form of 100%. And we've got a decimal here. I, I'm going to move this over twice, this decimal. That means I have to move this decimal over twice. And now there we have a hundred, so these hundreds divide out, and we're left with in our decimals right there, 0 0.1 percent. So bottom line is we move the decimal over to the right two places and install the percent sign. Now, what if we have a fraction? What if we have one-fifth? Well, we'll multiply by 1 in the form of 100 percent, and that's over 1. And 5 goes into 120 times, so that equals 20 percent. So what if we have something like 53 percent? So I guess we did a C here. And we're going to do a D here. Fifty-three percent. Well, we just have to move the decimal the other way, and that equals 0 0.53. But here's why. If we have fifty-three percent, I'll multiply by one in the form of, and by the way, there's one down here, it's understood, one over one hundred percent. Now the percent symbols disappear, and we have 53, they divide it out, over 100. Now if we move this decimal over twice, then we have to move this decimal over twice, and we get 0 0.53. And that's where that came from. I better circle these answers. So anyhow, we uh, converted to percents.